if you say the average person begins to lose their fertility at 37 and you're 30 and you appear to be by the things that we measure have ovaries that are not functioning as well as your peer group that's what we call premature aging ovaries most programs when they approach a woman who has what they call diminished ovarian function um, will either recommend that she go to donor egg um, or will simply focus on the last two weeks of egg development the time from the time a woman has her period until the time that she ovulates or the eggs removed for an IVF procedure. Uh, what we've been doing here is focusing on the uh, transition as the eggs move from the resting phase, which may be 30, 40 years for some people, and go through a sort of a training time. There's about two or three months preparation before they ever get to that ovulation uh, cycle. And uh, we've been trying to help um, those eggs that are in that transition um, make that transition uh, in a better way by treating those people in that time. We do that with the DHEA. We do that with um, uh, some other hormonal supplementations that we start well before they start their ovulation induction cycle. And um, we're not limited to these tools. We're still looking for other tools we may be able to, to use to bring to focus on this. Um, it's an ongoing process, uh, but the, I think what really makes us different in that approach is focusing on these eggs while they're in training, before they come um, to be actually in play. And I think it's made a big difference. The CHR over the last five years has really developed a unique expertise in the older ovary. There is simply nobody in the world who treats as many older women or younger women with older ovaries as we do. Again, we are not the, the largest IVF program in the world, but in terms of that kind of experience, there's simply nobody around uh, who, who does as much work uh, as we do.